Okay, so I'm trying to creating a new folder for today class. Let me create it. A new folder. And this will be 18 by 8. Let me copy the notes also from the yesterday folder. So let's try to launch the VS Code. Okay, so uh, today we will discuss about box model. Then after we will discuss about positions and how. Let me try to start this box see in css or in html first of all we need to try to understand one thing in html every element is a box every element is a rectangular box rectangular box okay so what are the different kind of properties we need to apply for the box what are the properties per box. The first one is width property. Second one, height property. We can able to apply height for the box. We can able to apply width for the box. We can able to provide padding for the box. We can able to provide margin for the box. And one more thing is border. And one more thing is margin. So these are the basically six properties which are going to be available for the box. Okay, let me take paint. I will explain diagrammatically how the box model will be. Okay, for example, this is a sample web page. I'm trying to drawing a sample web page over there. I'm trying to drawing a sample web page. Here. For example, this is the web page. So inside this web page, I'm having two elements. Let me take only two elements. Okay, this is my first element. Imagine this is a paragraph. And I'm taking a one more element. Imagine this is the another paragraph. Element one, element two. Okay, so this is the web page. And this is the element one. Element one. And this is the element two. Element. Okay. For these two elements, you take any element, you take any box. This is a box. And here this is a box. Every HTML element is a box. For that particular box, in box model properties in CSS, what are the different kind of properties we can able to apply? For example, the first property what I drawn is width property. The horizontal space of an element is called width. Vertical space of an element is called height. This is called height. Horizontal space is called width. Vertical space is called height. So inside this paragraph, let me have some content. For example, inside this paragraph, I am trying to write in some content. Inside the paragraph, I am trying to write in some content. Okay, this is some content I am trying to write inside the paragraph. Some data, whatever the data, whatever the content we have inside. Okay, so here from the content to from the content to box edge, whatever the space which is going to be available, this is called padding. See the blue color lines, the blue color lines, whatever I am trying to write in here, that is called padding. Padding is inner space of a box padding is inner space of a box okay got my point 
and from the box from the box body edge some space is only this is basically called outer space outer space is called a margin inner space is called padding outer space is called margin so let me write a points here so width is horizontal space width is horizontal space height is vertical space and uh, padding is inner space inner space margin is outer space uh, sir yeah, can you uh, write in color uh, that you have indicated in this diagram for example uh, red for that and uh, green for pad uh, padding or okay okay so actually i given uh, okay let me write a different uh, this color i given separately it is my simple mistake it will be easier to understand yeah fine Okay, let me write it. Width and height, red color. This is red. Red color. Okay. Red color. Red color line is width. And height also red color line. And here padding, whatever the padding is, that is blue color. So whatever the margin is, that is green color. Is it clear now? Width uh, is, what is the difference width. between margin and padding? Yeah, I will show. I will show. See, padding is inner space. Inner space, something like a, a person who is actually fit for the medium size shirt, but he wore triple XL shirt. Okay, a person who can able to fit with a medium size shirt, M size, but he taken or he bought. A, triple XL shirt. Then what is happening for the person? The shirt is very loose, right? Shirt is very loose. It is not fit for the body. The content, whatever it is available in the box, that is going to be having some space inside. The box have some space inside. That is called padding. Padding is inner space. Padding is inner space. Margin is outer space. See, some, some person in the classroom, in the classroom, some people are there. Okay. So, person to person, some space need to be omitted. Person to person, chair to chair, some space is going to be omitting. That particular space is called margin. Margin is outer space. Got my point? See, when I when I take the program, then you can understand how this padding is adjusting, how this margin is adjusting, how width is adjusting, how height is adjusting for the box. Okay, uh, try to observe. Now, the last one. Border. What about border is? Border is something like a simple decoration. Simple decoration. See how the border will be. And uh, outline. Outline is something like extra border. Extra, extra decoration. You can call extra decoration for element. See, for example, there is a uh, there is a mobile. You got purchased a mobile, and that mobile have some pack. That mobile have some paper pack. That is called a border. Border for that particular. On top of the border, on top of the pack, uh, you are going to be adding one extra paper, color paper also. Color paper is something like extra decoration. Got my point? For every element, you can design some border. For every element, you can design some extra border. Extra border is called outline. That is on top of the border. You are going to be giving some extra decoration. Okay, so let me show one simple thing. Okay, let me save the file. <clears throat> and this is box model. Let's go to the internet. In internet, you can search for the box model images. 
you can find some different images uh, people are actually providing. Then you can try to understand. Okay. So, can you see this? Uh, can you see this diagram? What you can able to observe here? This orange color is content, the data. Okay. And this one, a border. This one is padding. Padding is some inner space. Outside one blue color, light blue color is there. That is called margin. Margin is outer space. Margin is out, outer space. So can you see this one, this box? See, content is there. For content, on top of the content, padding is available. Padding is some space after the content. That space is going to be available top, right, bottom, left. At the same time, border also available top, right, bottom, left. Margin also available top, right, bottom, left. Yes, sir. See, this is in the cyclic order. What is cycle order is, see how cycle order, how clock order, how clock is running. See, first value is top. Then second value is right. Third value is bottom. Fourth value is left. This is in cycle order. And this is in clockwise order. See, remember this a TRBL concept. What is this TRBL? Top, right, bottom, left. Why? Because I will tell uh, the usage of TRBL mantra in the coming uh, program. The, what what a TRBL, why TRBL we are actually calling it as. Let me take a program, then you can understand how this will be. Okay. Mm. Now tell me width. What about the width? Horizontal. Space of an element. Horizontal space of an element. Next, what about height? Vertical space of an element. Tell me about padding. Inner space. Inner space for an element. Now tell me margin. Outer. Outer space. Of an element. Now tell me about border. Simple decoration. Simple decoration for element. What about margin? Extra decoration. Of an element. Okay, so let me write a program, then you can be able to understand. And uh, uh, let's create a new one. Simply, I will explain the complete all properties in one program. Then I will go individually also. Let me go for the box model. Box model dot HTML. Just try to observe. Let me take a paragraph. Okay, Lorem. Content is there. Let me take a bunch of text. Now, what I want to do is I will write some style sheet for the paragraph. Style of the paragraph. Background color is orange. Background color is orange. Okay. Let me write some more properties. For paragraph, I'm trying to write normal. Properties background color is one thing and font style italic. Let me go font style italic. Okay, let's try to launch this paragraph. This is a simple paragraph. I'm not actually writing any box model properties. Still, I'm taking a simple paragraph. I'm trying to write some background color and font style for the paragraph. Let me launch this. Open in browser. Can you see and observe? It's a simple paragraph. I'm not writing any box model property uh, till now. Okay, so you have the paragraph here, very, very clear. You have the paragraph here, very, very clear. Is it clear? Is this paragraph is a rectangular box or not? See, by applying background color, you can able to understand, okay, this element, this paragraph is a rectangular box. You would observe some rectangular boxes there here? Yes. Yes. Now, what my requirement is, a very simple requirement. I want to take this paragraph only 50% of the page, not a full 100%. This is 
completely 100% basically. But I don't want to take uh, this paragraph 100% of the page, 100% of the screen. I want to take only 50%. Then what I can do? Width what I want to 50%. do? 50%. Uh, I just want to make width 50% only. See, then I need to apply a property called width. Otherwise, it will take 100%. By default, it will take 100%. But I want to take a paragraph only 50% of the page. Okay, let me give the property called width 50% of the page. Okay, that's fine. So when I, when I return some property called width property, this paragraph is going to be occupying only 50% of the page, 50% of the width. The total page is 100%. Total page width is 100%, but I want to make it only 50% of the screen. Now it got adjusted 50%. Okay. Don't give any time height value. Height value is not a static value. For example, if I want to give the height uh, 200 pixel. Hmm. If I am taking height 200 pixel or 400 pixel, let me take 400 pixel. I am taking height 400 pixel now. Now you can see this paragraph content is very less, but paragraph height is too much. Right? So now, for example, this is a news, news blog application. Some news, some news content is very less. Some news content is very big. Okay, so you can't able to uh, know about the content size, then how you can able to fix the width, how you can able to fix the height of the paragraph. Height, don't give height. Width is okay. Height automatically you have to take. Height is going to be auto. What is this auto is? What is this auto is? Based on the content, uh, that height was basically increasing or decreasing. For example, if I am having uh, auto, when I say auto, this paragraph size is normally this much. Height automatically taken based on the content. Okay, if I got a content improved, for example, if I'm having a lot of content here, I said height auto, right? I said height auto. Then automatically what you can do based on your content increment. For example, I have a lot of content in the paragraph. Let me take a lot of content. I am taking a lot of content inside the paragraph. Let me take a lot of content inside the paragraph. Then you can see the paragraph. This height is automatically increasing based on the content. Yes or no? Yes. When I said when I say auto, this height is automatically increasing. Otherwise, if I am not giving auto property for the height, I am giving hundred per hundred pixel height. Height will not go with percentage mode. Height we don't know. We don't know how much content is coming from for that particular website. Maybe a million, million news, million number of news will come. We don't know about the scroll. We don't know about the scroll size. We don't know about the content size. So the height automatically getting increasing based on the content. In that manner, don't specify the height property as a static value. If I said, uh, if I say a paragraph height is a static value, can you see now? This is disturbing, completely disturbing, right? What is happening? Yes. If I say, if I say height uh, 100 100 percent, okay. So the problem is here we have uh, two more piece. Let me any 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 disturbance about the tags? Okay, no problem. Now you can see a single paragraph we have. That single paragraph, uh, I, I already fixed the height. Now height is basically, I'm giving 100. But your content is very, very high. Your content is larger. Then this is this is having a, some issue, right? The style is not properly applied. The background color properly not applied for the paragraph. I already given, I already given 100 pixel height for the paragraph. But content is very, very high content. But style will be disturbed automatically to you. When you go to the content, style is automatically disturbing to you. Can you see? So don't give the height uh, in a pixel mode. Height always should be auto. So this is the default one. No need to write height property. Height is automatically auto only. So no need to write this one. 
Okay, so width also I'm not writing now. Just want to go for the hundred percent normal width. Now a content also not this much required. You can take all less content. I am removing the complete content from this. Okay, I have a, a smaller content in the paragraph now. Uh, that is good now. Now what my requirement is, I got to understand what is the width of the element. I got to understand what is the height of the element. Now I need to get understand about the padding. What I what I told for you padding. What is padding? Inner space. Inner space. So where you need to take a space. For example, this is the basically edge of the paragraph here. But here the content is content is available inside the box. And I just want to I just want to arrange some space here from the border to content. Content is some text. Content is some text content, textual content. But I want to make my box is a bigger one. I just want to give some space inside top side, left side, right side, and bottom side also. Then what I want to do is I just want to write a property called padding. If I say a property called padding, okay, padding 20 pixel. If I say 20 pixel padding, just arrange some space inside the paragraph. This is the previous one. But after refresh your page, now you got applied some padding. You got observed where padding, padding got applied. Where padding got applied. You got observed. Where padding got applied. See, some top space got omitted. Can you see an observe? And uh, right side also, space got omitted. And bottom side also, space got omitted. And the left side also, space got omitted. Some space inside the box, some space got. Yes, sir, no. Got to understand what is the padding now? Inner space, you can't be able yes, to find the inner space. Huh? You are finding inner space here for the paragraph. What is the previous one? Without, without padding, what is the paragraph? With padding, what is the paragraph? Okay, so for first paragraph, let me take a, let me do one thing. Let me do one thing. So I'm taking two paragraphs. For example, I'm taking two paragraphs. That is fine. Okay, for first paragraph, I want to give a class called one. Uh, for second paragraph, I want to give a class called uh, two. Two paragraphs and class one, class two. Okay, so. For class one, padding, I'm not writing. For the two class, I'm giving padding. Padding 20 pixel or 30 pixel. Let me take 30 pixel. For first paragraph, I'm not giving padding. But second paragraph, which is having some class called two. For second paragraph, I'm applying padding. When I'm applying padding, uh, oh, now you can see two paragraphs. Two paragraphs. The first paragraph, which is not having padding, second paragraph, which is having padding. The difference between the first paragraph and second paragraph, you got observed. What is the difference between the first one and second? What is the difference between the first one and second one? First one, there is no padding. Second one, exactly. Padding. Exactly. There... exactly. The first one, which is not having a padding, but second one, which is having padding. Okay, let me take a third paragraph also, which is having margin also. Uh, sir, uh, yeah. in this in this style, mm -hmm. you written a, a p tag and then two class. Is it executing? Yeah. So basically, for the p, p is the common tag, right? For every paragraph, I am giving some background color. For every paragraph, I am giving some font style. That is okay, fine. But second paragraph, I overridden with one more extra property. By the class names. Uh, By the class names. Both are uh, applying. Uh, both will apply. There is not an issue. See, this is the common style for every paragraph. But this is the individual style. This is the individual styles for the second paragraph. For individual style only, I'm taking the class here. Okay, sir. Thank you. That's fine. Okay, let me take another paragraph. Now I'm taking another paragraph. Take another paragraph. Copy. And uh, 
this paragraph is a uh, three. For third paragraph, I want to give some margin also. For third paragraph, three dot three. Dot three, okay. So padding is uh, thirty pixel, and margin also thirty pixel. Let me give the margin. Margin also thirty pixel. Now you try to observe where this margin got applied. So the last one, third paragraph, dot three. I am trying to providing the one more extra property called margin. When I applied margin, what it is going to be happening? Now you can see the difference between the one, two, three. First paragraph, second paragraph, and third paragraph. Can you see and observe what is the difference between the first one and second one? Second one got padding. Now you got to observe what is the difference between the second one and third one? Both padding and margin. Both padding and margin. Margin where? Where margin got applied here? See, here inner space is padding. This is padding. Padding already applied. Inner space already applied. All, all sides. Top side, left side, right side, bottom side. Even margin also apply. Margin what? Outer space. Margin what? Outer space. Some outer space also applied. How much? How much I'm giving? Outer space and inner space. Inner space I'm giving 30 pixel. 30 pixel. Here, here also 30. Inside 30, outside 30. Inside 30, outside 30. That is some space. See, I already told you. Padding is inner space. Margin is outer space. Got my point? Padding is inner space. Margin is outer space. Very simple. Padding is some inner space. Margin is some outer space. Is it clear? These, these properties for each and every element which is going to be available in the HTML. Whatever the box model properties we have. That based on requirement. For example, I am developing a gallery, sir. I am developing a gallery kind of application. Okay, so I just want to uh, give some photos here. Photo frames here. Gallery photo frames. So this frame, this frame, I want to make some space. This photo frame and this photo frame, I want some space. Then I just want to give some, what property I need to give? What property I need to give for these three boxes? I want to design a kind of gallery. What is the property I need to apply here for giving this particular space? This space I want actually. For look, for look and feel. Margin. margin. Exactly margin. margin. Exactly margin. Margin right. Not margin, margin right I want to apply. So right side, uh, I am giving some space, right? Yes. Top, this one is top, sir. Okay. This one is right, sir. This one is left, sir. This side is, sorry, sorry. This, this side is bottom. And this one is left. Hmm. Now I need to apply right margin. Margin right, margin hyphen right. I need to apply margin hyphen right. Is this clear? Is this clear? Yes, sir. Okay. So now I am trying to taking a one more paragraph. For that paragraph, I want to add one more property called border. Let me type. See, I will I will explain each and everything individually. That is not an issue. Let me take a one more paragraph here. Copy here. And this one, four. F O U R. And I will take a one more also. Five. This is five. Now, four and five. For four, I want to add border. For five, I need to add a, a outline also. And this will be four. And this will be five. Okay, for four, I want to add a property called border. Border, uh, four pixel solid green. 
Okay, I will tell what are these properties and all. Now for this, I want to give the border and outline. This one, the last one, border and outline also. Let me write outline also. Outline, a different color I will type. Four pixel, solid blue. Now you can execute the program and observe how this border got applied. And you can observe how this outline got applied. Let me go and execute. Now you can see where border got applied. Where border got applied. Can you see the... Four at four. Uh, yeah, four. For four, border got applied. Which border, which color border I given? A green, green color sir. border. I given a green color border. Green, green color pack. A green color border pack I given. But the last one, the last paragraph, I applied a one more property called outline also. On top of the green, blue is actually visible or not? Okay, blue is not visible on top of the green. Let me give the red color. On top of the green, red will be uh, the good color. Now, on top of the green, can you see and observe? On top of the green, red color also packed. This is called outline. On the top of the green, one more red color box packed. That was actually outline. Outline is the kind of border. But on top of the border, outline will be available. On top of the border, outline will be available. Is it clear? Now, where is the margin, sir? Where is the margin? Margin from border, not from outline. Border to border. Green to green. This is margin. 30 from the top element. 30 from the bottom element. 30 pixel from the top element. Top element, what margin? For top element, what, what margin? Margin bottom. Bottom element, what is the margin? Margin top. See, this is margin bottom, sir. Here some space is available. That is margin bottom. Margin bottom for the first element. And uh, margin top is the bottom element. And these two combined 60. This is 30. This is 30. 60 pixel got space. Is it clear? Is yes. it clear? Is there any confusion in this? See, when I when I given for two boxes margin, first box margin taking from bottom, second box margin taking from top, and those two margins. That was actually applied 30 pixel. This, this is applying 30 pixel. 30 plus 30, 60 pixel space you get uh, finally. So the session is going to be ending in one minute. Please join one more time. Okay. The session timing is uh, getting out in one minute. Please yes, join sir. one more time. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, fine. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So try to observe, try to understand how this is uh, working and... Uh, Okay, let me go and observe the program one more time. What I'm doing in this HTML basically, I'm taking a multiple paragraphs. First paragraph, one, two, three, four, five. For all paragraphs, I'm writing a common style. What is the common style for all the paragraphs? I just given some a background color. I just given some font style. I just given some background color. I just given some font style. Sir, uh, remember one thing, without background color, you can't able to observe where the padding got applied, where the margin got applied. Without background color, you can't able to observe. For example, if I'm removing this background color, maybe you can't able to understand how this padding is applying, how this margin is applying. This is look feel uh, normal way. See, I'm not I'm not writing a pad, a background color here. Now I can't able to understand where is the padding applied for this one. Where is the margin applied for this one? See, when you given some background color, that spaces and all adjusted, then automatically.